Somebody was out shopping today. Um, the new channel got me thinking about guns and got me thinking about the uh, Tracker 209 I have. And I was uh, told to use this as a black powder substitute. Uh, leaves about the same residue as smokeless. It's not corrosive, but like any residue, it will absorb moisture and may rust your barrel, humidity permitting. But you can clean this out with a few passes of the old uh, ballastol. And they say that the uh, breech plug will come out real easy. It's uh, designed specifically, obviously by name, for uh, 209 inline muzzle loaders. Now I found out, because I have a habit of reading instructions, that your uh, Tracker 209 uses this style breech plug. Which means you're shit out of luck for using this stuff. It's not compatible as you can see there. Now, these are pretty much the styles that you got to use. It doesn't have the hokey spring holding in your primer. And uh, these are uh, actually enclosed. So, my short video is getting long already. So I get on, <laughs> get on the... Uh, computer and started poking around and I looked at Cabela's and I looked at Wholesale Sports. Wholesale had the price beat by about a little over 20 bucks and for some reason everybody's going to Cabela's so I just walked in and bought this bastard and it was on sale to boot on top of that. Well the one I was looking at was on sale. So I was looking at the Traditions Vortec 50 cal. Vortec Ultralight and their impact and they're all 50s and of course they had another in line there. It was actually the Vortec I was going to get but I picked up this uh, the Ultralight it was nice and light and I picked up this Pursuit and it's also quite light which gets you into the recoil concern but as you can see, maybe, these guys a bit of a muzzle brake drilled into the end of the barrel. I was thinking, well that should make up for a lightweight rifle. So, I wish I knew where I... Oh, I know where my camera stand is now. It's at the airport in my hangar. Oh well, I'll just have to... I'll pull this thing out and I'll be right back. So there's our, uh, my new, brand spanking new Traditions uh, Pursuit. Um, there's one other rifle I was looking at, and I forget particularly which one it was. It was also an inline uh, Lyman. Buddy, I came close to buying that. But uh, this whole thing is a bit of an experiment. So I cheaped out and I got this guy. And for what I've been reading about it, it's pretty good. So I didn't get the camel job. I got the, I don't like camel. I like this black. Although the uh, Vortec rifles, uh, the, the inset, the plastic, like a rubberized inset here and here. But the, the width of the forestock wasn't all that comfortable for me because I got small mitts. So um, this one in the end was uh, just as light as the ultralight. You see it's got the nice uh, fluted barrel on it. Metal ramrod. Um, it just felt better. It, it, was, it felt great actually when I held it and, lined it up against the cardboard deer they had in there. So, 
There she is. And the lighting's not that great down there. Maybe if I try this thing. Oh, look at that. The light on the camera works pretty good. So you can see you got a little bit of a muzzle break in the end of the barrel. And the, uh, the uh, fancy uh, sights on her. It's not a bad looking gun, actually. One of the things I really liked about it is it's a gutta hammer. I, for some reason, I really liked that. And, you know, for less than three hundred dollars, I'm not gonna pick this thing apart. So as you can see, we're made in Spain. It's got a one and twenty-eight inch twist. It's just ideal for jacketed, sabotaged bullets. And it goes without saying. And that's a brake barrel. Just a squeeze and she opens right up. Something else I kind of liked about this one handed Harry here. This guy just it's knurled, so you just muckle onto it, screw it in and out. Now I'm assuming with that powder, this will be easy breezy. And with that powder, another thing it says. About it, you don't use uh, black powder cleaners, water-based shit. You use uh, your normal powder cleaners. So, if, uh, if it's half as good as it says, when I'm done shooting. I should still be able to wing this thing off, no sweat. And of course, those fiber optic sights. I uh, I'm getting used to those. Man. I, a lot of people don't like them, but I'll. Uh, I'm gonna give them a try myself. Doo, 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 doo. Yeah, there's a not so easy to do on a camera. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty nice. Anyway, I uh, not all that thrilled about that being plastic. Watch me uh, pinch my fingers there, handling up like barrel. One hand is just about guaranteed pinchy fingers. There. Safety on. I haven't read the manual yet, which I definitely will. This thing won't cock with the safety on. It won't. That's good. Safety off. Ooh. It seems like it's got a decent trigger pull, too. Release is uh, pretty light. So. Forgive me here, this is brand new and I'm just exploring it. Here we have a brand spanking new 50 caliber uh, Traditions Pursuit. The more I look at it, the more I really like it. And I think if all goes well tomorrow, I'll take this bad boy out and blow the living shit out of some paper. Um, it's also got scope mount. Uh, holes drilled and everything. I did put a scope on the 209. I'm taking it off for sure. <sighs> Depends on how well this thing performs. If it's going to do 300 meters, then I just may scope it. It doesn't sound right putting a scope on a black powder gun. Didn't care for it on the other one, but you never know. I'll try it. So I'll be reading this stuff. Whenever you buy a gun, the second most important thing, actually the first most important thing is read that book. Always read that book. Second most important thing, clean it. Clean that barrel out. And, uh, and once you understand what you're your new gun and once you uh, got everything cleaned out you know when you squeeze that trigger for the first time things should be all right now what I also did is picked up some of these because they're well I paid they're about thirty dollars I flipped it around 
know, it's got 24 bullets, 30 bucks. It's more than a buck a bullet. And I saw these, I've used these before with round ball plastic sabots. In fact, I got the half used package there. I ran out of patches, I just threw them in, in the box just in case, and actually they worked not too bad. But these bad boys here, that are for bullets so if you take 44 magnum bullets which I just happen to have a shitload of you can put a jacketed round in the uh, sabot and your 50 caliber rifles now 44 caliber uh, <laughs> handgun just kidding so I had a, some of these kicking around actually a guy gave me these these are Hornady 465 greeners, and you can see they're soft points. Also mixed in, I have some, uh, those are uh, 430 thou, or 430 by the way, yeah, thou. These are uh, uh, Proline shooters out of Calgary. They're not jacketed, they're actually a copper plated bullet. These are 429s. So I'll stuff them down the pipe and see how that works. It says 430, but one towel or a plastic sabot shouldn't make that much difference. So I'm going to barf some of these down the, the uh, range, see how they work. And these are uh, your traditional 44 Magnum uh, 240 grain bullets. And I got a whole bag of them there. These guys are all hard cast, so they're going in the lever gun. And of course, we have your 250 grain, which actually turned out to be 255 grain uh, Lee Reel Bullet. Be no sabots or anything with these. I'll just put some Krella snot in those grooves and shove them down the hole. And uh, that'll be good to go. What I might do with these. Uh, do this uh, powder tonight. It's like a little bit of uh, Lee stuff in here. I got some of their lube. I might use the Lee bullet lube just because they're saying not to use the black powder products. I'll read this a little more. And uh, see how we make out with that. So we had Sabbaths. Jacketed bullets, Lee Reel bullets, go pure lead bastards. And with this gun, it wouldn't bother me to use uh, wheel weights. Wouldn't, well, I use them anyway. Uh, and it's got a 128 twist. I wouldn't, and this powder, I wouldn't really concern myself with the soft lead. And we got these guys. So when we get this bugger out. I'm experimenting with this new powder, experimenting with these, this combination here. This is not really an experiment. I love these. These Lee Real Bullets are freaking awesome. And uh, try these out. These these bad boys here, these Barnes uh, Spitfire Bullets are all copper. There's no lead in them at all. What do you know? The only thing I gotta watch out for using these uh, Proline sabots or bullets, I mean, is that the maximum velocity is 1,500 feet per second. So, not a whole lot better than a cast bullet. And judging by the chart on the back here, 245 greener. With 80 grains of this stuff should do 1,740. <laughs> so I'm 240 over, so I'll probably start around uh, 70 grains with the uh, Proline uh, or bullets, yeah, Proline shooters. Anyway, that's enough of that. I'm going to read this. I'm going to clean that and get my 
my big old black powder box all sorted out. And uh, next video with this rifle, theoretically there's going to be a big plume of smoke with that stuff. Um, I'm going to be making smoke, flames, and bullets fly. Yep, I like that gun. Looks great. Hope shoots as good as it looks. Got a feeling it will. Guess I should also mention that it comes with the little wrench and the hammer extension for those who want to scope it. I think I said the hammer was plastic. I meant to say it's a metal. It's a steel hammer. And it's got a got the uh, modern safety set up in there. Let's set the fire. And it's got the bar. So when you pull the trigger, hammer slams into that uh, sliding bar there. Gives the old firing pin a smack. Um, that's interesting. As long as that bar is down there, the firing pin will get, will, uh, get uh, struck. If the bar is up, it's braced across here. There's no way that hammer is going to hit the pin, or the even the bar itself. There's no way that pin is going to hit the prime. Yep. So, now I'm done. <laughs> this should be fun shot of the whole boom boom stick there. Yeah, that's a pretty fine looking smoke pole if you ask me. <laughs>